Uh, hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo Stucchi, I'm a PhD student at Politecnico di Milano, but also my PhD is co-founded by uh, Ricerca sul Sistema Energetico, I said this is an entire private company, but it's based on public money. And the work that I'm going to present is a combination of the use of different tools already existing and well known in, in the community, and that I also suggest you to, to, to discover because they are very useful for creating different instruments. And the main goal was to create an ecosystem that is completely open source, that is composed of different, several different tools, like uh, database, like uh, Atlas to showing uh, new maps, and also a complete ecosystem that is completely based on open source. And the use of GIS is also quite usage in the community of uh, renewable energy, but it still uh, needs some help for uh, having this tool as open source, because they are still based on kind of proprietary software that are yet well known in between them. And also the goal is also to create, to have um, various aspects from the, the characterization of the territory to the study of the influences of the renewable energy and the support of the decision making. So uh, the, the, what has been done is the creation of a sequence of tool, mainly based, all based on Postgres and GeoServer, that, are, that could be interfaced and help uh, the, all the dissemination of, of the different uh, soft, uh, different maps and products that have been created from the different departments inside the, the, the company. So uh, what has been created uh, is everything is open source, is published on, on GitHub, so you find all the different projects that, that I'm going to present to, to you. So the first one is uh, Envi Energy and Environmental Geoportal. It is based on MapStore, that is quite known. This product is developed by GeoSolution, and it is used to create an access point to, uh, to share between all the different products that I showed before. So there are different, different types of products. You can also create inside uh, GeoStories, where you can, uh, for example, you use one for creating a story about how uh, I use cases about the use of renewable energy in, uh, in Sardinia and so, but it's also you can map using leaflet, open layers, and it's all based on React, but also you can use it for creating connection with other project. So our, in our ecosystem, this is the main accent point. Then we have the integrated atlas that is based on Terra.js that if you don't know Terra.js, I suggest you to discover it more. Unlikely there is a presentation happening now in room four about Terra.js, so you cannot attend it that, but you can watch it online later. It's really interesting, really performing. It's developed by a um, community in, by CSRO in Australia. And our goal is to collect some important and relevant uh, layers about renewable energy from different sectors since the company is structured according to different uh, um, photovoltaic uh, plants, uh, hydrological plants. So the, the goal is to create a portal where you are able to understand that all the different possible uh, um, renewable energy sources that are on your site. The, the only issue is that um, the, it is only limited to Italy because the company is Italian, so, and the data that we are able to reach are only Italian. But uh, the main goal of this presentation is to show you how this could be uh, created and used from also a planner to discover data all over the uh, country and using all the open source software. The last tool that I'm going to present is uh, the, the only one that we totally completely developed. It's called Totem, Totem Theory Overview Tool for Energy Modeling. It's more uh, energetical uh, characterization model. It's developed by us. It's based on uh, some algorithms well known in the community that are uh, used to um, to model exactly to decide from to provide an uh, instrument to decide which is the, the, should be the right combination between the different uh, type of of, of renewable energy mo um, resources. So it can provide estimation of heat demand and electric demand based on data that we have uh, on, on our history from 2019. And, but also you can estimate wind and solar resources and other significant variables all provided at hourly and provincial, uh, hourly and provincial scale. Uh, the tool is open source, is a reason the meter license, so can be also adapted to for the, if you have some kind of data um, other, 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 for other part of the world, you can be adapted and the, all the code, the main code of the, to, of the tool is open source. Is also, you can test it also online, and there is the final visualization that is shown here that is based on some kind of provinces, is based on Python and Book in Pandas, so well-known library that are also create, create cool graphs. So thank you. And thank you. You have more time, but you have been so quick.